you got to get shots up no matter what. A couple of empty possessions here. Here's Reese Beekman. Sticks a three. I want to get out of the building. I don't want to make that mistake. <laughs> Kapari off the bounce. He's been excellent recently, and he slipped it to Dongo. Clarkman up the lane with his limp. He's matched up on Buchanan. Shot clock winding down. Beekman got by Kelly and got it to go. Second bucket for Reese Beekman. What a season he's had. I, he's put this team on his back. I, I, they would just be so lost without him. Dongo in the short roll. You love what he can do in that spot. No one plays better in a middle ball screen than Jordan Tech. You, you know it's coming, you just can't stop it because you got a guy who's 6'9 with great hands and good feet, and he's a really good passer. So catching and shooting that floater or skipping it to the weak side three. Georgia Tech is sagging way off of Ryan Dunn, so he attacks, spins, and scores. ACC regular season game of the year. Glad you're with us in Charlottesville. They have struggled when Reese Beekman's not in the game and how to create offense. Tough shot, Nate George. How about this kid? Debo Coleman was between he and the basket, got to his dominant hand and able to finish. Baseline cut, what a block from Ryan Dunn on Tafara Gapori. How about this block? Just get that out of here. You know, he comes in, his emergence to this team is important because he allows Rick Be Beekman to be off the ball and attack you from a different angle. Good shot fake from Tane Murray, and he buries the triple. Tane Murray and Groves and McNeely, his teammates are knocking down. Tightly played game January 20th. Virginia won it by nine, but Georgia Tech led by as many as 11 in the first half. Buchanan on the baseline. And it's been problematic early on for David Stoudemire's team. Murray attacking Murphy, gets the roll. How about the boost Tane Murray's given with seven in this first half? See how he handles that, but right now they're leaving a one on one with Dunn. And Dago turned it over. It's his third turnover of the nine for Georgia Tech, and here's Dunn kicking it out. Extra pass, it's Groves. Hits a three. Beekman defended by Kelly, or Gapari rather. Beekman still with it. Muscles one up. And gets the roll. It's just nearly unstoppable for him. Getting in the paint, finishing, which we know he does well. I wanted to come to Georgia Tech to learn from Damon Stoudemire and this coaching staff. It's just amazing what happens when you play with confidence. McNeely, a deep one. Knocks it down! 20 more to go at JPJ as Isaac McNeely and the Cavaliers are rolling in the first half. They got a 14-point lead over Georgia Tech. The impact that you have... Uh, I, I like Bub Carrington early. I thought he ran away with it. I think he came back to the pack. Some of that, and it helped his team improve. Tongo up top from George, and a rookie connection right there. McNeely, too strong. Tipped out by Dunn to Beekman. Wide open Murray. Hits another. How about the night for Tane Murray? Making you pay, and now he's in double figure scoring, and... Didn't, you don't plan on that when you're scouting your team. You didn't expect Murray to come in. We know he's capable of it. And, and but you did take expect it away this. by Beekman with the flush. No turnovers and now three steals. And he just wears you down. And that's all I'm saying with George. Last three games, they had knocked down 33 combined threes. Shot clock at five. McNeely. Tough shot. Virginia entered tonight with an offense rating nationally at 191, according to Ken Palm, in offensive efficiency. There's Harris off the window. You see Harris here driving with the lay off the glass. Wahoos with the largest lead of the night, up 20 here at home. They're up big. Shot clock winding down. It's a double on Dongo. Skips it out of the post. Start of it. Sinks a three. Here's Murray. Spinning and hitting. It has been Tane Murray's night. He's got a dozen. On the final day of the regular season, and how about the unexpected sources? Tane Murray delivering. And him picking his moments. He's had all the accolades. They don't mean anything else to him. Hanging a banner in Carolina will be big for him. And his so first team all ACC isn't a big deal for him.
in the regular season finale across the ACC. Harris, reverse. You said it, everyone's been involved for the Cavaliers. You know, it's something you just got to appreciate. Coleman follows up the Dango miss and got fouled as well. I think the three coaches that the ACC, the first year head coaches, have all been home runs. I think Autry has been in, should be in the coach of the year conversation. Michael Shrewsbury, I think, is, is a stud. And here is how the senior walk out from Virginia Beach. Oh, it's a foul away! And look at the selling! Nothing gets a better reaction than the walk on scoring. And that's one thing I think we adjust, hope we adjust the metrics so we can get more moments like that. Great performance here by Virginia.